Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. Glad to be back again. It's been a long, hard haul. As you can see if you look closely, I'm still recovering, but there's metal plates throughout my face to hold all my bone together in the eye socket, the nasal passage, the jaw, the cheek. Pretty much I'm half Terminator now, so I'll be back. Anyway, we're going to show you how to install turbo oil lines going in and return lines to the oil pan. I've had a lot of comments on this and a lot of questions and I've answered a lot of comments and emails about how to install turbo oil lines because it's kind of hard to explain with words when I can just show you. So we're going to use an L28 Nissan Inline 6 for example. Here she is. Now, a lot of people I've told you have to go to where the oil pressure sender is. And here's the oil pressure sender, it goes right into the block. This tells you direct oil pressure. So you take this off and you tee into it. Now, when you order an oil inlet and return line kit from eBay or another source, it'll come with this T fitting. And you tee into it and thread it in where this oil pressure sender goes. And this oil pressure sender is going to go into the T and then the oil supply line is going to go to the turbo. Now I have this as a stock engine that hasn't had anything done to it and I've got one that's complete before I put it into the car. This is another L28. See the T right there? Where the oil pressure sender used to be I teed into the block. Now if we need a little bit more light I'll provide here. Right there, see the threads threading into where the oil pressure sender used to go. Now here's the oil pressure sender going into the T-fitting. And the additional hole gets blocked off. Then there's the oil supply line. And it goes all the way to the turbocharger right there. See? There's the oil supply line. And a lot of people we're asking me where to put the return line. Well, the return line goes right to the bottom of the turbocharger and you tap it into the oil pan right here. See? You just find a nice place near the top of the oil pan, you tap it in. So you got high pressure, low volume going into the turbo's bearings, and when it gets done, low pressure just gravity feeds back into the oil pan and recycles the system. So this is a little bit easier for you than explaining it in all the messages I answered. So any questions please feel free to comment and ask me questions and all that good stuff. Well this engine here is getting ready to go in a Datsun 240Z. It's a very well-built L28, and we're putting a triple K German K27 turbocharger in it. I expect to see at least 450, 500 horsepower out of it. It's gonna be a pretty mean engine, depending on the boost settings. Maybe at about 10 PSI to 15 PSI, we'll probably see about 350, 400 horse out of it, and gobs of torque, because these Nissan 6s love to give you torque. Well, here's the stalker right here and I'll show you the same spot that I showed you on the other engine. Now I just put this on there just for fun. I put a stock 280ZX turbo header on here and there's about the spot right there where you tap the oil line in like I showed you on the other engine. You just look at where your oil supply or oil return line is, put the fitting on and put just enough to tap into here like I showed you on the other engine right there. Alrighty, so now I've showed you actual pictures and illustrations on how to do this. So this shouldn't be a problem from now on. So, alright, there you have it. Thanks again for watching Budget Boosting. I'm glad to be back. If you like us, like us on our Facebook, like us on our YouTube, and like always, remember our window stickers. Please continue to get them. We've sold some, 
But I tell you what, these are some great window stickers. All right, and remember, knowledge is power. It's horsepower.